Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game A-Hole, a comedy game. It plays two to four players, takes between 10 and 15 minutes to play per round, and is for ages 18 and up, because this game's got a few little spicy pieces of content in it. Uh, in the game, you're basically going to be gathering cards into your hand. You'll have your tops and power bottoms that will be in front of you, and your objective is to play through your hand and the deck, get rid of the cards that are face up in front of you, and then get rid of the cards that are face down below those cards. If you can get rid of all of the cards in front of you and from your hand when the deck is empty, you will win the round. You'll gather one of these little cute butthole tokens, and you're going to move on and play again. You can play any number of rounds that you would like. Uh, throughout the game, it's going to be numbers that you're going to be playing down, and you'll be playing them from lowest to highest with unique cards such as... <laughs> the rules have got them here. Uh, the go lower cards, the skip cards, the mirror cards, resets, and burn cards, and of course, uh, the treasured, the cherished... Um, a-hole cards, and <laughs> those cards are very, very mean. Uh, and of course, after you're playing those cards, getting rid of the top cards from basically counting as though you're there in your hand, and then the bottom cards, which you don't even know what cards they are, and if you can succeed in doing all that, you win the round, and you progress moving forward throughout the game. Rinse and repeat and keep playing until you're done. I'll show you what comes in the game and how it plays. So here we have A-Hole, a comedy game, currently set up for four players. Let's talk about the setup for the game. First of all, this is going to come with a stack of cards. These cards are going to range in value from one to about nine, and they're going to have unique uh, specific abilities like this card called Burn, and of course Go Lower, Skip, Mirror, so on and so forth. There's also an A-Hole card. That's the most powerful card. We'll talk about that then when we get into the gameplay. Take all of the butthole tokens and place them in the front of the player area, which everybody can go ahead and grab that one when they need to, and d deal out one card uh, to each player until everybody gets three cards face down in front of them. So each player should have three cards cards face down in front of them. Then deal out six cards to each player. Each player will then take their six cards and choose from among them three cards. So in this case, I would get this, these cards here. I would then choose three of them and I would place them down right on top of these bottom cards. The bottom cards are called power bottoms and the cards on top are called top cards, which means everybody should have a total of three extra cards, additional cards in their hand to start the game off with. Then to begin the game, choose a person to be the a-hole. The person who's going to be the a-hole is the person who last said, said I love you to his or her mom. That player is going to start the pile here. This is the deck. This is the pile. To begin, choose any card from your hand and place it down onto the pile. The pile is always going to go from lowest to highest. So when you play a two, the next player can play another two or a three or a four or a five. You get the idea. Additionally, any of the unique action cards can be played, like reset, mirror, or go lower. Your objective, to remove all the cards from your hand. And when you do that, the deck is going to run out. Every time you end your turn by playing a card, you'll draw a card. The next player will get a chance to go, playing another card that's hopefully higher than the previous one, and then drawing a card from the deck. And the game is just going to keep going on from there. Eventually, a player is going to run into a problem, though. That player may or may not be able to uh, play a card from their hand. So, for instance, in this case, I have a 1, 2, and a 4, so I could play a 4 on top of this 4. When you play four or more of the same number of cards on the same area, so in this case if I had four fours here, this entire deck would burn, which would remove it, allowing the next player to play any number on the pile, because it would be empty. However, if this player didn't have this four, and instead let's go ahead and say that this player had a one, well, now we have a problem, because they can't play any cards here, which means they're going to go ahead and draw from the stack here. And that is basically how players are going to get messed over in the game. And when that happens, simply play a card uh, uh, and go ahead and start the game all over again. Another thing to note, too, is when you have multiple cards of the same number, you can play those cards as long as it allows you to on the stack. And the next player can continue to go and play a card. Uh, and eventually what's going to happen is this deck will run out. And when the deck runs out, you're going to be left with cards in hand. And when you empty the cards in your hand, you're going to be left with your tops. Meaning that when play comes around to you, you'll play a card just like you would as though these cards were in your hand. If for any reason you can't play a card, these cards will go into your hand from the stack and you'll play with these guys instead until you remove them and thusly are able to play from your tops once again. When your tops have been removed, then it comes down to your bottoms. And when you play your bottoms, you're gonna go ahead and choose them randomly and select one and hopefully get lucky. In this case, any of these cards are wild, which works, a go lower. 
the next player has to go lower than an eight, meaning that they would have to play a two, right? If these guys all emptied their hands as well, per se. And then, of course, the next player could go ahead and mirror a two. And another person could mirror that other two. In which case, I'd be back to my turn. Hopefully I get it. Nope. This is higher than a two. Uh, in which case, it's no good because we're going lower. So I take all these cards into my hand. Eventually, what's going to happen, though, is somebody's going to run out of cards by playing their final power bottom card. And when they do that successfully, they'll take a butthole token. Keep playing the game up to a number of butthole tokens that you'd like to play. And whoever has the most is the winner of the game. A-hole. A comedy game. So a whole a comedy game is uh, just that. This is a game that feels like a poker style game where you're flipping over cards uh, to eventually play them on top of a deck. If you fail to play a card, you'll have to gather those cards and put them back into your hand and sustain the damage that is many cards. Uh, as you run out of cards, you'll draw more from the deck, eventually drawing from your tops and then finally from your bottoms with unique tactic of having to choose one of them, hope it's the right number, and then if it's not, take those cards uh, from the stack and the card that you played back into your hand, getting one third into the way of victory. Otherwise, if you get lucky placing it down, you can just score a win and you can keep pre pressing through all of those cards face down until hopefully you get rid of all of them. In that case, you'll, you'll win the game. Uh, this game can be a rather quick game. It can take a matter of moments, uh, but it can also go on a little bit because you might uh, get kind of messed over by your opponents. There's cards there. They're going to make you draw additional cards. Uh, there's ways the game can change in the form of burning uh, cards from the stack, whether it be with a burn card or playing a number of the same type of number, four of them, uh, will remove a stack. So you play four fives down, all those cards get removed from the stack. No one has to draw them and it's a way to push the game forward. And also forego you having to draw any additional cards. Uh, the game's got a bit of luck and strategy. The luck comes into not only the power bottoms, basically you never know what you're going to get down there, and you're going to flip them over and just hope that you succeed, which will be a negative or a positive, depending on the type of gamer that you are. But also, of course, the cards that you start off in your hand with. Uh, you'll have an opportunity to kind of choose between the cards in your hand and the ones you want to place on top of the power bottoms, which is nice, because if you do so, you'll have a nice uh, for, uh, foray or a or array of cards in your hand that you can utilize powerfully or if you want to use those for a later date and get stuck with some nasty ones to begin with that's an option and of course there's always the benefit of getting all good cards or the negative of getting all bad cards in your hand um, the game is very very straightforward this is a game that theoretically people under the age of 18 could easily play as for how it's taught however because of the language and I guess some of the, the artwork to a certain extent it can be a little you know, I imagine there are going to be some adults who will probably be okay with their kids playing this game, uh, and I guess the choice will be up to you. Uh, if you're looking for a game that has a poker-style feel, a game that involves you messing with your opponents, a game that has a riddle, it's not riddle with luck, it's uh, there's certain points of the game that will have specific amounts of luck depending on what you've done throughout the game or what uh, you've got face down, uh, then this is going to be a game for you. If you don't like the aspect of having to flip over cards you don't know what they are and it might mess you over or the fact that players can play some really mean cards on you like for instance like the mirror card that forces a player to, to deal with the last card that was played that is of course not you the a-hole card being the most mean card making players have to draw up the entire stack it's a way to kind of bound, uh, balance the game to somebody who's devastatingly doing very or who's doing very very well um, and of course the reset which resets the entire board etc etc then this is going to be no, no problem um, like sometimes it can be pretty one one-sided where if you feel like you're doing well and then you get the a-hole card played against you and then it played against you again players can kind of work together to mess you over so it has that aggressive nature to it so like i said aggressive game made for adults you know if, if you're into that kind of thing then you're going to enjoy this game for me we had a lot of fun with this one uh this is what i would easily bring out to play with my buddies uh the only one caveat is I'm not the biggest fan with the fact that you're playing the cards face down uh, underneath these guys. I'd much rather have known the information at the beginning and if I had forgotten it then it's my fault and I don't feel bad for playing the wrong card as opposed to just being completely randomized luck. I think that would be cooler and it's a way that you could homebrew the game. Uh, overall though a solid fun game and something I would suggest you take a look at if you like a game that's got a little bit of an eco-friendly uh, aspect to it as well 
as the uh, aggressive gameplay style where you're trying to mess with your opponents and devastate them. Josh is one of these people who I know would really, really like this type of game. A whole, a, a comedy game. It's on Kickstarter. There's a link down below in the description. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game A Hole, a comedy game. If you're interested, like I said before, links down below. You can also go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe bell button and the notification way to get you guys to see more videos that we put out every day. We'll have a kind of a week or so of me having to move from one location to another. So in the next four or five days, it'll be just pre-produced videos as many as I possibly can do while doing everything else. Moonshell prototypes have just come in. Expect an update very soon. We're excited to show you what has come in because it looks great. Also, guys, thank you so much for your Patreon supportage. It does get us a long way to giving you guys more games as well as, of course, our live streams every Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. PST, except for this next Wednesday because we're going to be moving. That's all I got for you guys this time. And as always, I look forward to you being the a-hole and not me next time. And then I have to guesstimate how to straighten it. Hope that I'm in the frame. Yeah, looks good. <clears throat>